Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you all well. Today, I would like to add one more episode about a plant that I have previously introduced to you on episode number two. But today, we are going to go more into the detail. And also, what you see on the screen is the result of those cuttings that I have planted it approximately two years ago or maybe a few months longer. This is known as Cereria nomoquensi, which is a plant of South Africa and Namibia. The name of nomoquensi actually is a part of the family of the Portoracalia but the name of Sereria comes from a Greek word, means Sera, that in English will be translated to little horn. However, this is a beautiful and very strong plant that technically grows in the very arid area in South Africa. It can handle a lot of heat and also drought. And also in the winter time, that area has a lot of rain that this plant also is capable of handling it. So in another word, there is nothing going wrong with this plant if you start growing it. Generally, this plant uh, can handle lots of water and also lack of water. Cereria is a waxy, freshly and also very slow growing succulent. It's among the uh, shrubs type of families of the plants. The body of this succulent is very strong and very, very woody. I would like to show you on this piece of cutting that how strong it is. And it's not easily breakable. Cereria is among the very gorgeous and nice with the oval shaped leaves that technically each three of them are next to each other as you can see right here three oval shaped leaves like a triangle sits on the surface of the trunk of the plant and also it does flower during the summertime that the flowers are pinkish but throughout the time a week or two weeks the color of the flowers from pink, it will be fade to white color, as you see right here. Cereria generally is not a plant that be receptive to any diseases. It is very strong, it is very Beautiful, it's very organized plant, and also you can make a beautiful short and bonsai shape out of it. You see? If you refer to video number two, I have planted this one in the same pot approximately two and a half years ago, or maybe a few days or a month less that was my second video in my channel and now look at how branchy and thick they got and they are truly very very gorgeous plant lots of people love it and lots of people has it and they work with it and they are very easy to grow this plant can grow to 1.8 or perhaps a little bit less meter long. 
I want to bring you to this area and show you the big one that it is right there. So we're going to walk and we go close to that one and show you it's a massively blooming and is about approximately a little bit longer than a meter. The propagation of this plant is a little bit technically hard and you have to be very patient. Look at these areas. These are the areas that I have got cutting out of it. Right here, right there, right here. But every time you get a cutting out of them, you have to look at it a few months or a year later. Here, another piece. Here also. When I do the cutting, around the end of that cutting branch, there is new branches grows and makes this plant look just like before. So you hardly ever see this plant that uh, technically be bald and ugly looking. It will rejuvenate very quickly, fast, and uh, also blooms. So uh, there is one issue about the cutting that since this plant is very woody, rooting, the cuttings are not easy. So you have to be very patient. You have to use the right and a strong formula of the root hormone to be able to get it rooted. And generally the best soil for it is the cocoa moss with a number two perlite, which is generally 90% versus 10% perlite. That makes this plant start blooming. I'm sorry, start uh, rooting. However, I have to also mention this to you that propagation with the seed is not easy. I haven't done it. I don't really have that much of the experience to grow it from seed. And uh, all of my plants are cutting, but I found the right way to do the cutting. I want to bring you here and show you lots of cutting that was cut at the same time as the other one. And they all have been rooted very well, and they all has beautiful flower on it. Look at that, it's well rooted. It is not. So, my success about this plant technically is the right root powder that I use. Also, I have liquid one, which is very strong, and uh, you have to be very cautious not to leave it in the uh, liquid and you have to read the label and use right amount and dilute it with the water. So, uh, one thing I like to tell you about the cereria, that cereria can make a very beautiful house plant. If you want to keep it in the house, they need light and they have to be properly watered but the light and air circulation is one of the things. Otherwise, most of the leaves will fall off because this plant generally has a behavioral that they lose all of their leaves in their nature. But in, uh, in that sense, if you do the propagation at home, 
technically most of the time throughout the year they do have leaves so in the nature the wild plant have a chance of losing all the leaves but in the house generally 12 months of the year you see the leaves on this plant and you see it very nice and lush and green here right now we are summer and it's very hot and as you see the plant it looks very beautiful has a good amount of leaves on it and it doesn't have any problem by producing lots of flowers and you see it with your own eye right now on this video that uh, it is good quality plant. I have to mention something to you that on one of my episodes on my channel maybe early between episode maybe 1 through 10 I have produced a video regarding a plant known as Portulacalia which I'm going to put the number of the video and also name of the plant for you. The reason I'm going to do that because I want to show you one fact that first of all the gene of these two plants are about very close and they all from same family. And also the grafting of this plant is very easy on Portulacalia because they have they are related to each other. The cultivation of this plant, as I have said earlier, makes to this plant that generally has leaves all year round. But as I have said, I'll mention it one more time that when you see this plant in the wild, perhaps you see some that they don't even have any leaves. Here, sometimes you see the plant produces flower even before the leaves start coming out. So this is very normal. Sometimes they are together on the plant, leaves and the flower. Sometimes the leaves is on the plant, but there is no flower yet, which as you see around here is a start. Sometimes they both appearing on the plant, as you see here, right here. So this plant will play lots of different uh, directions of uh, appearing their presentation in a very beautiful way. And they are, as I have said, is very strong and very beautiful and very easy to handle. Please refer to episode number two which you see I did the cutting and I showed you how to propagate it. These are the same plant that I did two and a half years ago and I did the cutting and also I placed it into the soil. So now the result is in front of you and you are seeing it. This plant is generally not very cheap, it's good and uh, generally is among the good valuable plant and perhaps uh, sometimes you cannot even find them and if you go to certain places maybe one or two in one nursery available there is not a mass of it is available like you see on this table and other table and you never ever will be able to find the large one that i just showed you over one meter or this one that you see is a bonsai because these things are a specimens and very very valuable however this was my uh, video today for you 
I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you all uh, look at this video in the detail and if you have a very a specific question about this plant, please leave me a comment that I'll get back to you and answer you. Please like the video, share my video with friends and relatives. Make sure you become subscribed to my channel. There is more videos are coming. As I have said, this is not a plant that you can see in any nursery very easily. So knowing about them and having them is very, very important. If you have any specific question that is related about finding this plan to buy, send me a private message. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I hope you all well. Until next video, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.